People wait in lineups to experience the newest trends, but how long does the hype last? It comes down to there's weird different and hey, I want to be able to say that I've tried that. Uh, you know, so hot pepper, ghost pepper ice cream, right? You probably want to try that once maybe and then once is enough. Whereas businesses like this, they come up with something new and innovative. They change the landscape, uh, but then they deliver a product that actually meets people's needs. It's something, it goes beyond, at a certain point, it goes beyond trying to be the new in thing and it becomes, wow, I really feel like Uncle Tetsu's cheesecake or creme brulee from this restaurant. One dessert getting some attention these days are, well, today is creme brulee. It's something that people often look for in desserts when they go to a high-end restaurant, but a lot of restaurants nowadays don't serve it. So I decided to take that and then niche on it by doing different flavors. Daniel Wong brought his Vancouver specialty shop here to Toronto, and today was the grand opening of Crack de Creme. Any new food things, we'll try it. <laughs> we went to Uncle Tetsu's yesterday, and it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah and uh, we heard about this place actually on Facebook, so now we walked all the way here. Martin Pyle, assistant professor of marketing at Ryerson, says the reason people are drawn to these places and trends is because we want to be part of something. It's really just different. It's not out, it's out of the ordinary, it's special. And we always want something special. We want to be a part of something that is emerging. We want to feel like we're unique. And we don't want to miss out on things. I mean, FOMO is a real, real thing, right? We want to be in on ahead of the schedule and for that we stand in long lineups for great food. Martin adds that sometimes the hype is that people just want to take that perfect selfie. I cracked a chem, Stella Cuisto, City News.